Well, hello there, it's Beards and Bangers, and today I present you a bit of a different video. Normally I'll do reviews of car shows, but this is my own local car show that I'm involved with. So, and Joseph Lloyd's coming, so I'll let him do the coverage. Smashing Pistons is coming, we'll let him do some coverage. I'm going to show you the reality behind organising a car show. Welcome to Beards and Bangers. So we're up here at Whedon Park, just outside Aylesbury. And uh, today's Friday, show's on Sunday, the 19th. What well, we've been up here since about eight o'clock this morning. I think a couple of people were up here even earlier than that uh, to get various bits and bobs done. So we'll have a bit of a, a, bit of a mooch round and show you what's, uh, what's occurring. Obviously we can start with something that's really important. We've got the toilets, so we've got toilets way over there. We've got toilets over there behind the bar that's being built at the moment, which is a very good bit of news that the bar's being built. Yeah, we have to get toilets here. We've got bins coming. Uh, we've been waiting all morning for, you probably see over there, we've got some Harris fencing uh, because th the other side of that is the public car park. This area here is going to be trade uh, catering. Uh, there's a lot of people coming to that this year. A lot of people have paid to have a pitch here. And then this whole area here will be covered with cars. Uh, I think the last count we had getting on for 700 um, and we'll have people turning up on the day. So it's going to be a big event for a small town car show. It's, uh, it's a pretty big thing. Austin's there in 75. We've got a fleet of, so Penny, that's our cars we're using today. And then Austin's here in one of the pool cars. We're going to go and get Henny. She'll be a pool car. Uh, we've got some other pool cars there because of course we've got our own cars to get here at some point over the next two days. So we'll have a bit of a mooch around the uh, field. Uh, here's another one of the committee just uh, organising stuff. as Alex. Fine too. Yeah, well, he, he's here now, so that's the main thing. And uh, yeah, we'll have a mooch round. I'm just looking at my number plate on Penny because it's delaminating quite badly, but we'll jump in the car and have a little bit of a wander around the, uh, the rally field. And there's Buddy the dog. Buddy the dog. Buddy the dog. So part of the reality is because we've been waiting for the, fen they, the, the fencing company supplied the wrong clips and of course they didn't have standard sockets on, they've got they're the security ones. So we're just debating what to do, but it's it, sitting around doing nothing feels really bad. Um, well, it's quite nice to have a rest. We've got a bag of food in the back, um, trying to keep hydrated because it's a beautiful day. And I'm hoping that the, if the weather stays like this for the whole weekend, we are going to be in for an absolute treat. But we're just going to have a little mooch around the field. I'll hold the camera. It's a bit jerky because it is a farmer's field. You can see there the bar getting set up. There's Big Brian. He's, uh, he's been in that telehandler all day. He can't, doesn't know how to start it, but he absolutely loves it. Um, <laughs> that made Austin laugh. Um, yes, yeah, so that's Brian's job. Brian, Brian's here with his, his uh, Granada. Uh, if we look over here, we've got, got a couple of people doing the entrance. Colin, Colin had it. So this is the, the entrance area. The, uh, the local lions will be manning this tomorrow. There's Nigel. There's Nigel busily getting everything sorted out. So the public will park in there. They've got, we've got another overflow car park in the uh, Bucks County Showgrounds opposite. But people will filter in here. If they pre-book, they show their ticket or they can pay cash or card. Uh, but we'll go, all this stuff's got to be done. And we, we haven't actually got that many people in here. Austin is leaving me here. Well, uh, this is where the pub stand's gonna be. Mark this out. It takes a bit of time because we've got rivalry stakes in and then put the barrier stakes down. My club stand's gonna be, especially speaking to the microphone, my club stand's gonna be down there. Gonna have the granadas around here and we've got to think of all these things. So I've got to actually find, do a final plot of where all the club stands are. Um, we've, we've had our first injury of the day. So Austin's granddad got whacked in the head by a piece of fencing. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not easy, it's not easy, but it will be worth it, especially when we have that first cold beer on Sunday after the rally. So yeah, now, nearing the end of day one of the setup, we're obviously going to get back here really early tomorrow. So, just to show you what we've done. We've got the beer tent and the VIP area right over there in the distance. You can see some more urinals. Well, we've got lots of urinals, um, fencing's all up, so. This will be where, where Alex is over there. That's be where the trade stands are, food. Got a massive variety of food, but it's 
we've been delayed by third parties so you know we're relying on people to deliver stuff and it's just everything's a little bit behind today so we will get there we've got our staging area here rally controls up um, there's two very tired people sitting on a trailer over there so i think everyone's a little bit sunbaked it's been an absolutely lovely day um, but we'll have a little break pick it up tomorrow and then sunday morning we'll be getting all the cars onto the field so we're back in the field, it's uh, half seven, Saturday morning, so today we've got to get everything done without fail because people will be here from half seven, eight o'clock tomorrow with their cars. Um, one of the considerations we have to do is things like this. So Henrietta has got a shed load of water in the back of her because yesterday people were not drinking enough and we've got a responsibility to people who are helping. Okay, they're volunteers, they're not paid, but you've got to look after people. So we've got juice, we've got... Uh, plenty of water been out to get that this morning the beer is for tomorrow once we've got this already we can have a beer but not before well we might have one tonight because we'll probably need it um, managed the beards and bangers fleet we'll see in a second so we got here Henny here last night so it's just about everyone doing their little bit pulling their weight and if they don't do that then we don't get stuff done so we'll uh, we'll try and bring you some footage throughout the day morning Austin Right, so job number one today is massively important. So over there we've got the, the bar, which uh, Dale, a local drinks uh, provider, wholesaler, have sorted out for us way wonderfully. Of course, if you give people beer, then the natural thing happens. So we've got toilets here. We've also created, because gentlemen, when they start drinking, obviously we all know that it's one pint in and five pints out. So we've got urinals, um, why am I showing you this? Because it's important. These are the little details you have to think about when you're planning a car show. You can't just have a load of cars rock up in a field and thousands of people and not do these things. So I think our next job is now to go and mark out some club stands and the, the various classes so that people can get their cars judged tomorrow. Right, so me and Oster in, in one of the Rover 75s. We are absolutely pooped. Um, this video has not gone to plan because I was hoping to bring you a lot more content, but uh, we're just now checking fire extinguishers, which we just put up. Um, the field's all marked out, pretty much. Uh, we'll show you this tomorrow morning for the final final part of this video. Um, what I hope will be the final part of this video anyway. Uh, is there anything else we've got to do tonight, Austin? Collect cars. We've got to collect cars, because I've got my cars here, which you can see there, last night, but we need to get... Austin's car that's not here and Adrian's car. I think Adrian's got six or seven to collect so uh, we'll do a bit of that in a little while. Well hello there again. It's uh, still beards and bangers because we're halfway through the video now. It is 5.45 on the morning of Sunday the 19th of May. I've got my best t-shirt on. Uh, contact lenses today because I've got these white lines from being out in the sun for the last two days. I'm going to get up the uh, rally field really early just to make sure there's a few bits got a fire extinguisher to drop at rally control because we were one short on fire extinguishers little things like this that are really important uh, i'm going to go to the garage get some drinks um i'm really i'm really dry <laughs> been drinking loads of water but we've been working really hard the last few days get up to the field i'm in charge of club stands this morning so i've got my own club uh, some of you watching this will have been in that club by the time you see this so thank you for those that came we've got other uh, car clubs we've got petrol heads we've got mgra we've got rover 120 mg 100 we've got loads of club stands so i was gonna get penny started up oh she started up pretty pretty sometimes she cranks a bit difficult difficult no, cranks with difficulty because of her little remappage but she's uh negotiate around this oh my knob's come off it happens mg mgzr gear knob on a streetwise and sometimes you just you pull it off and your knob comes off in your hand i'm sure i'm not the only one who has that problem so we'll get up the road we'll see what the field looks like this slightly gray may morning but i think the weather's gonna improve later it's gonna be a bit of a scorcher so got the baseball cap and uh, we'll get up the field and see you in a sec So we have to get up fairly early because we, we're getting, so it's what, nearly six o'clock now, getting people to arrive who are pre-booked um, from eight o'clock. In fact, half seven is fine. The earlier, the better. Um, 
we've got a few classes and then we've got two we've got three sections basically we've got classes so vintage post-war 60s 70s all that kind of stuff i can't remember the exact so many i can't remember the exact thing we've got club stands and we've got i don't know we've got 30 club stands this year it's um quite incredible actually and then we've got late entry so people can play on the day but you can't be in a club stand and your car won't be judged uh, for the little little trophies that we give out. Um, yeah, I'm taking a bit of a circuitous route because I've, I've grabbed a coffee from Maggie D's. Um, so I've come out on the west side of Aylesbury and we're now going to go up this, what hopefully will become part of a new bypass. Um, because for those who know Aylesbury, it's a town where all the main roads go right into the town centre. Um, so if you want to drive from, say, Tring to Bicester, it's quite tricky because you've got to go through Aylesbury. Um, so they are starting slowly to build a bypass, but it's taking some time. Um, yeah, we'll get even warmed up yet. You won't get, even get warm by the time we get to the field because diesels just take forever to get warmed up. Oh no, I mustn't go yet. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Need to wake up a little bit. And I, I don't know, I like getting up early, but I don't normally like speaking early. So maybe I should concentrate on driving and not talking to you lot. Right, so it's now nearly three o'clock on the Sunday. I, this is the next chance I've had to film because we've been that busy. This is the, the Beards and Bangers club stand area. Um, very, very pleased. We've got cars going from Adrian's BRM right over there to my Beamer and Mini there. Year of the Streetwise here. Got a couple of cars missing, a couple of breakages. We've got, uh, what have we got? We've got Zev Registroke, Rover 120, MG100 here. We've got uh, MGRA, Hearts, Beds and Essex here. There they are, hello, hello. Um, lovely cars. We've seen a lot of these cars before. We've got loads of all these club stands. Brilliant. And my microphone's broken as well, so if it sounds a bit weird, I do apologise. But here is the rally. People have been thin out. But it's very good. There's Neil with his lovely Metro. We've seen that car before. And there is Neil. Uh, Trini's Mirage is behind there, but yeah, lots of different clubs. American stuff just leaving there. The reality is, trying to be part of this and make a video is very difficult, um, which is fine, because Joseph Lloyd, I think I said earlier in the video, Joseph Lloyd's been here, Dave the Crap Car Hunter's been here, Simon from Smashing Pistons has been here, I don't know, probably someone else here as well, don't know, don't know who they are. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this very brief hopefully slight reality of making a car show happen video and uh don't forget to hit like subscribe i'm very hot and very tired uh share comment all that kind of stuff uh see you again very soon next episode of beards and bangers yeah. goodbye